Versus and Flow season five, engineered by Lexus. We are in the heart of Hollywood in the luxury away studio, and we are welcoming to season five. Look at these beautiful young ladies. These are the Poet Pup girls. Give it up, boy. How are you? Please introduce yourself to our audience. I'm Zaria. I'm Belissa. I'm Rhiannon. And I'm Will. I'm the poor. Yes. Oh, no, yeah. we're not going to do that. Okay, no, we can do that later. Chris, make the intro later on. Okay. 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 So, season five, Versus and Flow. Uh, lately, we've seen you girls everywhere. Um, and we know that it's part of a special project that you, you, you do. Tell everybody about your project. What project are you a part of? Uh, we're a part of an organization called Get Lit, and Get Lit is a nonprofit organization based out of LA, and their mission is to increase literacy amongst teens in Los Angeles. Because, because Los Angeles has the second lowest literacy rate in the country. <laughs> Woo! It's not not city don't cheer for that. Don't cheer for that. Yeah, it's bad. Not good. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, what drew you to the project? Uh, do you want to talk? Well, it came to our school. Okay. Actually, yeah. we were in ninth grade. Here, yeah. We're juniors now, but um, it came to our school in ninth grade, and there was like a competition where you could be on a slam team, and we were all on the slam team together. And yeah, what they do is they take a classic poem, um, like Shakespeare or Maya Angelou, and you pick one, and then you write your own response poem to it, and then you memorize both, and that's what you slam with. And you compete. Yeah. Uh, we want to know which. What did you respond to? I did um, Charles Bukowski smile, and like this is before I knew who Charles Bukowski was, and like on reflection, he's kind of like a disgusting person. Um, but my poem was great. My response poem was like way better than his. Um, Melissa did my oh, crazy. What? I can say it. Say it. <laughs> Speak. I did Barbie Doll by Marge Piercy. It was the first poem I had ever read, and it was my response was called Worms, and it was the first poem I had ever written. So, you know, didn't expect it to be that great. Didn't expect to end up here with my three, two, no, three of us. This three of us. Oh, there's three, three, there's three of us. Yeah. There's three of us. Yeah. Never mind, sorry. Just for the week, it's Hollywood week, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you guys are, have been on a lot of platforms lately. Mm -hmm. What has been the biggest one so far? Wow. Um. You know, personally, I feel like, like, of course, purses and flow. I was gonna say that. Yeah. I, I mean, before, before I even say anything, anything, before I say anything, yeah. this right here, yeah. right here, before this, moment, this, other than this, like five like, hours ago, we would have like, said this, something else. Yeah, but now that I'm here, this is like the pinnacle, this is the peak. But um, before that, I think definitely Hollywood Bowl. I feel like that yeah. was like the yeah. biggest. That was like, the start. That's what catapulted us into yeah. everything like, else. Everything else so was scary. sort of like a widespread things that like garnered views like over time. Whereas yeah. Hollywood Bowl, we were there and it was like 18,000 people that instant right then and you had to perform. So I feel like that was probably our biggest thing. Yeah, I thought it, it, took it took a lot to calm our nerves. It took a lot to calm our nerves. Yeah, Melissa was reading One Direction or fan fiction backstage. Um, before every time. Everyone. You bring that up every time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you shouldn't have done it if you don't want us to talk about which it. Which poem did you perform at the Somewhere in America. Somewhere in America. But tonight on the show, you will be performing something else. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> now, what, tell us about that poem. <laughs> That's a really funny story. We kind of yeah. wanted to write another three girl piece. Yeah. Um, but we wanted, not necessarily, we just wanted to make a funny poem. And so we said, well, we love puns. So let's just make it's a true. poem. I love puns. And kind of take it and make fun of those dramatic poems and just take it. And have it have no meaning. Yeah, it was sort of yeah, inspired by like, literally literally no people are like, I love grass, man. Blah 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 blah. And they turn into something really deep and you feel bad for laughing at the beginning of the yeah. poem. We wanted to make it like that, except it never gets yeah, deep. It it's never like gets the deep. whole thing and you're like waiting for it to then it never does. Yeah. No. So, so no. we took something really funny. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. And then we just prepared to get kept, we kept We kept joking oh, yeah. throughout the poem. Yeah. So you're talking about making fun, but are you having fun? Oh, my oh God. yes. Yeah. It's yeah. lit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But all right, so you guys are part of a literacy project to so help promote literacy in Los Angeles. Do you consider yourself role models now? I mean, I like like we are active a lot on social media because we're teenage girls and stuff. Um, and we'll get messages from people like, "You're such a good yeah. role model," and I'm like, "I have been in my pajamas for <laughs> yeah. thirty hours." Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's hard to be a role model when you're still trying to figure out who you are. Yeah, none of us have our driver's that. licenses. Yeah. 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 So what do you want to do? What do you want to be? Besides getting lit, what do you want to do with life? I mean, we do that every day anyway. Well, we're going to discuss this as a family oh, show. Sure. What kind of things? What do, what do you want to do? Um, I would like to be a writer or a developmental psychologist. I feel like you're already a writer. Thanks. So, yeah. Thank you. A better one. There you go. Taller. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to go into acting. Okay. I want to continue acting. Okay. Yeah. Very good. 
I think I want to write as well in what capacity, I'm not mm -hmm. sure yet, whether I want to be an author, like a screenwriter. Mm -hmm. uh, because love acting is always going to be like my first thing that like, I love, yeah. so I don't know whether I want to write for the screen or things right. like that, but yeah, definitely. Sorry, is dropping her mixtape on May 30th. Oh yeah, it's lit next oh, Saturday, oh, check it out. Dude. Maybe. Just she starring. Might. Yeah, August exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. No, anyway. <laughs> so, who do you look up to? Who are, you, who are your heroes? Who are your robots? Uh, you know? Um, I just, I think our moms are our biggest role models for all of us. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, just speaking for myself, I love my mom so much. She's so great. She drives me places and she doesn't yell at me that much. It's, it's wonderful. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's, it's difficult to find someone that you relate to, um, at this age especially, that you can connect to and that you can really, um, find similarities in and that can you can confide in for anything. But I think right now, um, it's my mom, but it's also, I found a lot in these two girls. I know that's cheesy, oh but I think they're really, they've, they've kept me grounded. So I do look up to them in a lot of ways. Next day, what you got? <laughs> um, oh my God. Um, this is gonna sound so weird, but my mom watches Scandal. Okay. And um, so like I'm like secretly obsessed with Scandal and I have been since like secretly the ninth grade. You know they actually shoot right across the street. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't worry. I know. She knows. And um, I, know. I love Kerry Washington. I love her. She's so funny. She's so nice. She's so smart. So she's yeah. She's so beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> First of all, we have the poet puff girls with us. We are very happy to have you guys. Are a lot of fun. Thank you so much for this. Tell everybody on social media where they can get in touch with you if they can. If they want to. Uh, follow me on Instagram and on Tumblr, Zaria Allen. Mixtape. Yeah. SoundCloud. And, yeah, and SoundCloud, Zaria Allen. Instagram and Tumblr, Melissa Escobedo. Um, my, you guys are going to make fun of me again. It's yeah. okay. Okay, my uh, YouTube channel and, and Tumblr is the Geeky Blonde with an E at the end of blonde, or else it will take you to things that aren't me, but still involve. Anyway, um, and then my Instagram and Twitter is mermaid, and then E-L-E-H. It's a pun in Yiddish, and it's really funny. Um, it's great. And our YouTube channel is the Poet Puff Girls. What? Check us out. <laughs> Versusandflow.com, luxuryofweights.com for more information about these artists and these young ladies and everyone else on season five. We are here all week. It is Hollywood week, season five, Versus and Flow. <laughs> Alfred Edom will not be in the building, but that's okay because they are. <laughs> and that's all we're gonna do tonight. Let's go!